All right, so what I'm going to do is a quick tutorial about an app uh, that I was made aware of that I think will be really, really helpful uh, for uh, taking your notes that you are making if you're hand making or handwriting notes for class, um, taking those notes and putting them into one file to upload to Canvas. Uh, so rather than having to take photos with your phone, for example, and then email them to yourself and then download them and put them into a Word document. Uh, this right here in the upper right hand corner, if you can see Genius Scan, <clears throat> is an app that does all of this very simply uh, and, and really great. So it's a free app. I recommend downloading it. it looks kind of like this camera shutter up here, uh, the orange and, and white one. So Genius Scan, <clears throat> and I'm going to open that up. And this is what you'll see uh, when you first open it up. I don't have any documents or anything in here. I've, I've kept it blank so that we can start from the beginning. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner here, there's a, an orange kind of uh, pill shape, uh, oval shape here that has a camera and then um, like files is what it looks like there. So you click on that and when you do click on that, it opens up the camera. Um, I already had it allowing it to access my camera, but it may pop up saying uh, permission to access your camera. So of course you just say yes. I wrote some quick notes here just uh, to show some words and then also some drawings with a little bit of color as well. I know you can't really see this because I'm kind of changing the direction here. but So notice when I took the picture uh, that it, it put it in black and white. So it's, it's doing its best job to try to say, hey, let's put this in a black and white to make it really contrasted so you can see all this stuff. But say I wanted that color uh, that I put on there just with the highlighter really quick. If you click in the bottom left hand corner here to enhance and then you look at your different options, you can either colorize it or you can just say photo and it'll take exactly the photo that I just took uh, with the colors and everything. So you can change all of your notes to make sure that they're all in photo uh, if that's best or if none there uh, is best also. So if I chose none, it kind of took away some of the shadow, which is really nice. So if I click none, it actually looks better, maintains the colors for myself. And then black and white was the original that it kind of put it in. So if I didn't have any images or if, it didn't, if I didn't have any colors or anything that I wanted to pick up, maybe black and white would be the best option. But I'm gonna go with none because it kind of took away some of the shadow and also maintained my uh, colors there. To get out of this and add more images, then I'm just going to click this kind of adjustment um, type thing right above the edit button there. That's where you're going to be adjusting things. <clears throat> and so then now I have chosen that image and I'm going to add more images. So I'm going to click save. I'm going to save it to a new document. If I open this up, I can actually add more images Although, of course, it's not uh, letting me do that. Here we go in the bottom left-hand corner. Camera. Ah, I see. So what I did was, this is good. So over here in the right-hand corner, if you can see here, I clicked on single. And what I really meant to do was click on batch. And I forgot to do that ahead of time. So when I had it on single, hopefully you can see that on the right-hand side there, I had it on single. So it just took one picture and it didn't allow me to change the, uh, to add additional photos or additional pictures. So. I'm going to redo this. I'm going to click on batch this time to make sure that it knows that I'm going to take multiple images. I'm going to take my uh, picture here of, I know it's a little wonky on the screen that you're seeing here, but when I'm taking the picture, it, it's showing the full page. And so I took a picture and then that one went away for a moment. So now I'm just going to kind of uh, take a couple more images just to show different kinds of images to make sure we get multiple images also in here. I'll do three. So here's one more just with writing and print. And I'll just take one more picture. So I did that really quick. Um, make sure that when you are taking pictures you can see all of your different uh, words that you have typed up. Okay so now it shows me on this moving thing on the right hand side above batch that I have three images there. I'm gonna say that's all I have for this. I'm going to click done. And so now here I am with my different images. <clears throat> I do have the first one uh, in there already because I added to it. But if you see, I clicked on the second one and I can scroll now uh, left to right or left and right and see the different uh, images that I have included here. So I have the first one and I've already adjusted that. Uh, but now here, <clears throat> this one, I can adjust this as well. I can uh, enhance it again. I can put nothing in there. 
uh, change the format of it. So first I'm just going to enhance it and put none on this one. We've already seen me work with that one. So this one is in black and white. I feel like it's missing a little bit of the detail there. So I'm going to click none on that. And then let's see if I can um, edit. I can edit and then I can turn it so that it's the correct direction. So it's the same direction as all of the other ones. So make sure that you do that as well if any of your pictures come up in the incorrect uh, format, if they're landscape and they should be portrait. And I'm going to scroll over here. Again, I'm clicking in the bottom left hand corner these little uh, dial things that show that I can change it. Here I'm going to flip it and then I'm going to enhance and go to, let's see what photo looks like. There's some shadowing there, which isn't too bad, but if I go to none, it actually looks a little bit better. So I'm going to then do that. And then in order to get out of this one, again, I click on those same kind of dials that show that I can adjust the image. <clears throat> so now that I'm done with that, what is really, really neat about this, so if I had started out not with single, but if I had just started out with batch right away, I had taken those photos, and as you saw, I just clicked down here, I could change, I could edit different things in the bottom left hand corner, and I just went through page by page, and I can even stay in this edit mode and go through page by page, um, editing each one of these. Then, all I have to do is click on the bottom right hand corner where I'm going to export this. <laughs> Then this pops up. It's gonna, it shows me that it's going to be in the format of a PDF. If you click on this, you can pick a JPEG also. Let's not do that. Uh, for our purposes, a PDF works out great. Uh, resolution, I just chose actual, no password. If you put a password, then I might not be able to access it when you turn it in. So here's where you can choose where you want it to go. So you can send it to yourself in an email and then upload it to Canvas. But what is really cool about this is if you use something else like iCloud uh, Drive or maybe a Dropbox you wanna put it in or your Google Drive, um, but if you click on the bottom and you click on other apps, it's going to search your computer or your uh, iPad or phone and it's going to come up with some other apps. Hopefully you can see this in the right hand corner. And if you look, I actually have Canvas for Student uh, downloaded on my iPad here and it's this one here that says copy to student. It's actually Canvas for Student, the one with the kind of red, it's supposed to be people in a circle there. So if I click on this, I can automatically go to Canvas. I don't even have to email it to myself. I don't have to put it in my Dropbox. I don't have to put it anywhere. I can go automatically to Canvas and just upload it right away. Uh, so I'm gonna say I don't want notifications here. It's saying now that this file is ready to submit to assignments. So I can go straight to assignments. And I think the only way that I can actually do an assignment is if I go to this pretend uh, student module. So let me get to this. Yes, yeah, so a student orientation assignment. If I go here, so this is my assignment here, my uh, pretend assignment for me. And then if I click on the upper right hand corner to submission right here, I can click in, in this case, uh, in the upper left hand corner of this box, it would have said turn in. I already did a, a tester, but uh, I'm going to click turn in again. So if I click on turn in again in the bottom here, then it can click, it can choose either file upload or text entry. I'm going to click on file upload here and then you can see it can choose, I can choose picking something right from Dropbox. So if I had saved that PDF to Dropbox, that would be fine there. If it was a camera, if it was just an image, I could pick it up from there. <clears throat> or I can pick this, which I didn't save it for a name, but this is it right here. So this was my 2018, January 13th uh, page. There's four of them. So I'm going to actually pick that file and then pick to uh, import that or export that. <clears throat> All right, so this is the file. So I'm going to click on that and in the upper right hand corner it says submit. So I'm going to click on submit. And you can see the bar going across there and look, now it is sub been submitted. Uh, so again, you don't have to go to Dropbox, you don't have to go to your Drive or, or anything like that, Google Drive. You can just go straight from the Genius Scan app uh, right to Canvas, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is if we are working within this document, um, also you can adjust things and move them around. So at some point here, we can work with the file itself. Uh, if I click in the upper right hand corner, let me just do that again. So if you look in the upper right hand corner, there's kind of this dot in a line and then a check mark in a line. If I click on that, then I can actually hold these uh, bars down on the right hand side and I can move this if I if I took pictures in an incorrect order and I need to change these around or if I wanted to see I have a double of this other one if I click that I can click delete at the bottom here so I can get rid of one of those I'll delete that file so now I only have the three 
I can add a tag here. So if I want to save it somewhere, um, I can add that tag. If I want to select all, I can select all at this point. <clears throat> and then I can click done. So uh, I think it's really, really neat to be able to kind of move them around if I accidentally took a picture in the wrong way. And then of course, in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a little plus sign. Uh, you can plus, and then you can add photos, which I think is neat. So if you photos and you can add a photo in there, uh, and then you can rearrange it again by going up here, and then you can drag your photo that just added from the bottom and, and stick it in anywhere. So if you want to take pictures uh, and put in pictures of any of your of your drawings and things like that. So if you need to add more photos uh, that were not just part of when you opened up the app and took your photos, uh, if you want to actually get them from your camera roll that you have saved or from other locations, you can add those as well. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful. Uh, I think it's great that it goes right into Canvas. If you have Canvas downloaded on your phone, which I recommend that you do, or your iPad or whatever it is, your tablet, um, then hopefully that's useful. So that way then you can keep your notes and you don't have to worry about making photocopies to turn them in and we're not using up as much paper. So please try to do this if you can, if you have a device that uh, is able to do this. I highly recommend it if you're not already typing up your notes and already not using paper.